Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, hello, teacher. How are you today? Nice. Nice. We're going to wait a few minutes for the rest of the people. I started in the class. Yes. So we're going to wait until the rest of the people comes to the class. Okay. Hello everybody, we are going to wait two or three more minutes just for the rest of the people come to the class. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay, we're waiting just for two or three more minutes to the rest of the class join us, okay? Okay.
Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Nice. So welcome everybody to the class. Once again, we're starting all over. And uh, well, this is the module number five. For the new ones or, or the ones that are were not with me the last module, my name is Eric, Eric Asensio, and I will be your teacher for these five weeks. So, and we're going to start as usual with the presentation so we can check some details about the course, okay? So let me just go here. Okay, here we are. So this is the intermediate five. My name is Eric Alberto Asensio Vasquez. So if you have questions, you can interrupt the class. You can ask in the class. You can also chat with me directly or you can also chat with me uh, in the group. So that would be a pleasure to help you out. Okay. En general, en español, esta parte. Recordemos que en la presentación, en, la, en el Zoom, hay que poner el nombre completo. Para, al completar. Es el nombre según Dui nos han dicho. Ese es el primer punto. En el caso de oyentes, agregar la palabra oyente. Eso, ustedes ya tienen experiencia. La cámara debe estar encendida durante toda la sesión. Eso es muy importante. Si está cenando... Aprovecho, ¿verdad? No importa, puede comer, puede echarse el cafecito, pero pues es mejor tener la cámara encendida. So, este es un lineamiento de Insaforp. Tenemos que tener cuidado con eso. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible, es decir, a veces pues hay ruidos ahí inesperados, ¿verdad? Hay que tener cuidado con eso. Participación activa, igual, ¿verdad? Cuando yo pregunte alguna opinión, al que piensan, que entendieron o qué quieren decir, Es el momento adecuado para practicar inglés. Recordemos que el objetivo principal es la práctica de inglés. Ok, very good. ¿Alguna pregunta o duda con la primera parte? No, teacher, it's clear. Good. Yes. Nice. Entonces, vamos con el siguiente slide. Recordemos que la asistencia tiene que ser al 100% de las clases. Eso es muy importante. La asistencia no solamente se toma al estar presente, sino también al cumplir con la clase completa. Entonces hay que estar en la clase. Please. De repente ahí se pregunta y yo sé que de repente uno se levanta a traerse un cafecito, ¿verdad? Pero sí, la recomendación es que estemos ahí conectados lo más que se pueda. La asistencia se toma tres ocasiones, a las 8, a las 9 y a las 9.55. Se tomará como válida al escuchar la, al participante decir presente, present, here, cualquier palabra que usted diga. Y tener la cámara encendida. ¿verdad? Recordemos que por una auditoría que pueda pasar en Safor, si usted dice presente y la cámara está apagada o ellos revisan todo el video y no está encendida la cámara, simplemente le quitan la beca ¿verdad? y ya no le mandan su certificado. Y estamos tan cerca que no vale la pena. ¿verdad? Entonces hay que tener la cámara encendida. Luego, sesiones uno a uno disponibles. Cada participante será asignado a 10 minutos al finalizar cada clase para aclarar dudas, cualquier duda, queja, cualquier cosa que quiera practicar. Entonces, ahí en esos 10 minutos al final de la clase, los vemos. ¿Ok? Eh, ¿Alguna pregunta en esta parte? No. Good. Continuamos entonces. 
eh, es necesario tener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Entonces recordemos de que tenemos la plataforma y que ahí tenemos que ir haciendo las tareas. ¿verdad? Ya vamos a ver la plataforma, pero ustedes ya tienen experiencia, ya saben ¿verdad? De que se tiene que ir haciendo una tarea, que hay que ir contestando la pregunta que está abajo del video y las tareas asignadas. Recordemos también que hay que hacer más, bueno, por ahí adelante está el midterm test y el final test. Esos son en medio del, en la tercera semana se hace el midterm test y en el último, el último día ya tiene que estar hecho el final test. 80% y recordemos que a veces hay algunas fallas en la plataforma, cualquier cosa me avisan, yo la reporto y algún día la vamos a solucionar. Luego tenemos las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase, como les comentaba. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que el registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. Entonces también ustedes ya saben de que cada semana se tiene que ir terminando. ¿verdad? Se tiene que estar al día ahí para poder enviar las notas. Nice. La fecha límite para terminar el examen medio es... Ah, bueno, esta es la primera fecha, eso está malo. Esa es la fecha de ahora. Ahora estamos iniciando. Eh, sería ahí por casi por el 16 de mayo que tendríamos que hacer el mid Entonces, pero yo les voy a ir avisando, ¿verdad? Y la fecha límite para terminar el examen final es el lunes, esa fecha sí está bien, 6 de junio, porque vamos a terminar lunes y no viernes. Recordemos que el 10 de mayo es feriado y no vamos a tener clase, ¿verdad? Ese día se descansa. Entonces se corre un día y por eso terminamos lunes 6 de junio. Y luego dice, el manual puede ser descargado de la plataforma. Yo ya se los envío también ahí en el chat. Eh, si alguien no se ha unido al chat, también pues nos avisa y le mandamos ahí el link por el chat de acá para que usted se pueda unir. Eh, no se utiliza materiales terceros en ninguna sesión. ¿Alguna pregunta o duda en esta parte? Sí. Ajá. Eh, sí. Vendí el manual porque, bueno, a mí no me, no me llegó, por favor. Sí, claro, recordemos que el manual, bueno, en el, en el grupo del chat no está, o quizás hace poco se unió, ¿verdad? Sí, hoy en la tarde, no lo había visto. El, el, el... Ah, perfecto. Bueno, sí, yo lo envié por ahí, ya se lo voy a volver sí. a reenviar cuando termine la clase y también acá, ah, ¿verdad? Sí. En la plataforma se puede descargar, ¿verdad? Aquí donde dice Students Manual, le da clic y ahí ah, lo puede claro. descargar, pero si no, yo se lo envío también. Eh... Ajá, es que, es que parece que a mí no, todavía no se ha actualizado la, la, la plataforma. Ah, perfecto. Sí, a veces sucede que el primer Ajá. día, esa es una pregunta que vamos a hacer más adelante acerca de la plataforma. Good, good. Ok. Vamos a hablar un poco de las clases, ¿verdad? Recordemos que hay que tener en mute el botón, ¿verdad? Para poder evitar cualquier ruido que no sea de la clase. Recordemos también que la cámara tiene que estar encendida en todo momento. A veces ya nos ha sucedido que hay personas que no tienen encendida la cámara y en Safor simplemente les quita la beca. Entonces no queremos eso. Eh, el chat también está a disposición. Si ustedes tienen alguna pregunta o alguna situación, pues la pueden comentar en el chat. Eh, a veces utilizamos break rooms. Ustedes, bueno, los que estuvieron conmigo en el módulo pasado, se dieron cuenta que casi no lo uso. Mejor hablamos aquí en vivo y a todo color. Pero si de repente, dependiendo de la actividad que vayamos a hacer, lo podríamos utilizar. También está para levantar la mano. Usted puede levantar la mano y yo con gusto le doy la palabra. ¿Preguntas o dudas? No, teacher. Good, good. So, esta es la plataforma. Quizá la primera pregunta acá es, ¿ustedes todos ya tienen acceso a la plataforma? ¿Hay alguien que no tenga acceso a la plataforma? I can use today. I can, I can, I try to, I try, but I can, I can. You, you can't or you can? I can't inside. Mm, okay. Um, let me just check. Susana, right? I'm going yes. to report you right now. Let's see how it goes. Good evening, teacher. I play, Good evening. I prove things in the day. I'm sorry? I prove many times in the day. Okay. And you try with your email and the password one, two, three, five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Okay. 
Anybody else do not have access to the platform? Platform. I know how a assignment assignment in the in the next course. So you have the previous, the number four. Only only four. Yes. Ah, okay. Right now I'm going to also report you. Sí, yo no tengo, yo no tengo acceso todavía a la plataforma. Vaya, ahorita, entonces vamos a poner, sería Ada Patricia, ¿verdad? Teacher. Sí, sí. Hello. Tampoco yo, bueno, yo sí puedo acceder, pero no me ha activado este módulo. Usted pues está, tiene el 4, entonces. El 4, exacto. El 4, perfecto. Igual, teacher. <coughs> Permítame, vamos a reportar los que no. ¿Quién, ¿Quién más no tiene acceso? Veamos primero los que no tienen acceso. Mi teacher, Adriana. Adriana tampoco, ahorita vamos a ver. Eh, mi teacher, I don't have access to the platform. Los mí tampoco, ok. Yes. Me bloqueó porque lo maté de un peligro. ¿Alguien más no, no tiene madre, acceso no a la plataforma? Se enojó bastante. O sea, teacher, en el módulo, el módulo, perdón, el módulo 5 es el que no tengo acceso yo. Ah, usted entonces sí tiene acceso, pero no Dice, tiene el módulo. Con, estoy con el módulo anterior. Va, la borro de este y lo pongo en el otro, permítame. Va, entonces solo Susana, Adriana y Osmin no tienen acceso a la plataforma, no pueden ingresar, ¿verdad? Yes. Bueno, ok. Ahora, eh, Ada, entonces, Patricia, tiene acceso, pero le sale el módulo anterior, ¿verdad? Así es. ¿Quién más? Mi teacher, Nelson. Nelson, perfecto. También Flor de María, ah, perdón. Yes, teacher. Mi teacher, Alexis. Ok, perfecto. ¿Cuál? Permítame, voy con... Tengo a Ada, Patricia, a Nelson... Tengo también a Flor de María. Wendy Molina. Ahorita la escribo. Wendy Molina. ¿Quién más? Mi, mi teacher. Osmin. ¿Pero usted yes. tiene acceso entonces o no tiene acceso? No, no ve el 5. Yo tengo acceso a la plataforma del antiguo módulo, el cuarto. Okay. Nada más para el quinto, no. ¿Alguien más? Number four. Alexis. ¿Quién? Alexis. Alexis. Sí, Ricardo Alexis Fuente Rodríguez. Perfecto. ¿Alguien más tiene el módulo anterior? Ah, esa es ahí, ¿verdad? Porque se conoce. Ok. Perfecto. Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Todos tienen ya acceso al grupo de WhatsApp. ¿verdad? Everybody has access to the WhatsApp chat yes. from the group. Okay. Entonces, yeah. uh, tomorrow, uh, in the afternoon, try, try to access and see if you have the correct module. If you don't have access tomorrow in the afternoon, around two or three in the afternoon, uh, please let me know and I will, I will report it again, okay? Very good, very good. Okay, very good, very good. Okay. So this is the platform, just in case you don't remember, this is the platform. Only today, we are not going to have here a question. Tomorrow, for the class of tomorrow, for the class of tomorrow we are going to have uh, the question already here, okay? So in the, from the class number two, we are going to have, we're going to have the question here. So that is the first thing. Remember to do the question after the class. And today, at night after the class, 
we need to finish the exercise, the exercise number 1.1. Okay. So it's important that you, that you have done this activity. So it says, uh, well, it's just a matter for you to click in advantages or disadvantages. That is it, okay? That is the only thing that we need to do, the only one. Very good. Uh, and yeah, we're going to be moving on and check about the, the class. Do you have any questions before we start the class? Okay, since there are a few students that are new in the group, what we're going to do first is going to, we're going to introduce ourselves as usual in the first class. I'm going to be the first one, of course. So it's a pleasure to be with you again. It's fantastic. And uh, well, my name, for the people that don't know me, my name is Eric. I will be your teacher. I live in Santa Ana. I like a lot music. I like movies. I like to watch TV, uh, to learn new things. And uh, it's a pleasure to be with you. If you have questions, if you need anything but money, I'm here for you, okay? So it's a pleasure and uh, nice to meet you, everybody. So now we're going to listen to you. Please introduce yourself. We're going to start with Ada Patricia. Could you please introduce yourself? My name is uh, Ada Patricia. Um, uh, I, I live in San Salvador. I like a uh, read. Um, read. I like a pet. Mm. And in this moment, I study English. Very good. That's perfect. It. Nice to meet you again, Ada Patricia. Good. Now we're going to listen to Carla Vasquez. Hello, good evening. Um, well, my name is Carla Vázquez. I live in Zaragoza. I work at Ericsson. Uh, I have two cats and one dog. I don't have a children. I have married. And I like to listen to music. English music and romantic music uh, to pop music. Uh, uh, I like clean my house. Is <laughs> my is my uh, hobby during the day. <laughs> yes, uh, I want to learn in English because I have find another opportunity in my in my work for me it's very important to speak and listen to english for for find there another opportunity i know you will of course definitely thank you carla nice to meet you again nice to meet you again okay we're going to listen now to walter mauricio morales Hello, uh, good evening. Uh, good evening, everybody. My name is uh, Walter Mauricio Morales Arauco. I live in the city of La Quinta. I am 39 years. I work for the company Young One CRSB Manufacturing. My position in my work is a uh, uh, assistant design. And my hobby favorite is uh, playing soccer, uh, watching TV, uh, the practice the jeans. Solamente, uh, teacher. Perfect. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Walter. Welcome to the group. You're welcome, teacher. Nice. We're going to listen now to Wendy Patricia. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Wendy Molina, and I am uh, I'm new uh, in this group, and it's a pleasure to stay here. 
Um, I live in Santa Ana. I like to learn new things. By a side. And uh, be with my family. And the rainy days is my, uh, my favorite uh, moment. And I am psychology. And I work in the Club of the Loom, El Salvador. And only that. It's a pleasure to here. Nice. It's a pleasure to meet you. Welcome to the group. Thanks, teacher. Now we're going to listen to Pamela. Good evening. Um, good evening, everyone. My name is Pamela Posada. I'm a fashion designer to American children's clothing. And um, well, I like, I have a pet, I have a dog, and I like to sleep a lot. And I like to illustrate it and also watch TV series and animes. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Pamela. Okay, Anna, tell me. Hi, good evening. My name is Ana Selmi Chavez. I live in Zacate Clasil. And I love to watch a series. A, I, I like to go to the cinema. A, a, I enjoy to share with my family, my friends. A, I love to study too. A, my goal is learn English. <laughs> Follow. Oh, of course. A, Thank you. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, nice to meet you. Uh, the new classmate uh, is a pleasure for me. <laughs> of course, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much, Anasalmi. And uh, hello, Jasmine. How are you? Okay, we're going to listen now to Guadalupe Lopez. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Guadalupe Lopez. I I live in, in Lower de Colón. Uh, I work in Hamburg, in Santa Tecla City. I had uh, two sons. Uh, I am 43 years. years. Um, I had two pets. Uh, that's all. Perfect. Thank you, Guadalupe. Thank you. Welcome to the class again. Now, um, Rose Salgado. Hello, good evening. It's nice to see you again. Welcome to the new classmate. Um, my name is Rosalena Salgado. I'm 51 years old. I have two children. I live in San Salvador. I like to listen to music watching TV, I like soccer, I enjoy watching the games, um, and I'm here learning because I want to speak uh, English in a very good way, and I like it, it's the another reason because I'm here because I like it, I love it. And I hope this module learns so much with the hand of the teacher, because I know that he is a good teacher. <laughs> and okay, welcome on board. And here we go. I hope that we enjoy this this course, like another's. But it depends on us. We have to we have to speak. Don't be afraid. <laughs> it's the only way that we are going to learn. Speak in practice. Perfect. Thank you okay. very much, Rose. Okay. Okay, welcome again. And we're going to listen now to Sandra Romero. Hello, this is Sandra Romero. It's a pleasure to be here with you. And I'm living in Santa Ana City. I have a little girl, one year old, and I expect to learn too much. And, and I don't know, I am happy to be here and to have the opportunity to improve my English skills. 
And that's all. Perfect. Thank you. Welcome to the group, Sandra. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to listen to Ricardo Alexis. Hello, class. Good evening. Uh, my name is uh, Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodriguez. I live in San Salvador, Ciudad Delgado. It's uh, like uh, the listening of music. Is uh, watching uh, soccer. Is a uh, playing soccer is that's all perfect thank you welcome to the group again nice thank you now we're going to listen uh, to gloria elizabeth uh, good evening my name is gloria linares i live in san salvador i like uh, to watch tv listen to music and english camp and go hitting uh, and now it's a time to listen. Perfect. Thank you. Welcome again to the group. Very nice. Now we're going to listen to Adriana Martinez. Good evening, everybody. My name is Adriana Martinez. And, um, I live in Merliot, Merliot City. I have two children. Uh, I work in Central American Spirit Works El Salvador in the in the area of the occupational health and safety. I am industrial engineer. I like dance and listen to music. And only that. Perfect. Thank you, Adriana. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Nice. We're going to listen now to Susana Hernandez. Hello, everybody. It's good to see you again. Well, my name is Susana Hernandez. I live in Delgado City in San Salvador. I work in five laboratories. I have four children. I like to watch TV. I like to read. I like uh, to listen music in English. And I would like to lose the shame. Uh, to speak it in English. And only that. Perfect. Thank you very much. Welcome to the class again. Now we're going to listen to Sandra Mendez. Good evening, teacher. Uh, my name is Sandra Mendez. Uh, I live in Planet de Renderos. Uh, I like to music, uh, pop, um, uh, romantic. Uh, I li I am uh, I like to go to the beach in mountain. Uh, I work in in Bermanma, uh, and uh, I am a conta. Um, I have a, a pet. Uh, I have a two two dog. Uh, only. Perfect. Thank you. Now we're gonna to listen to Carmen Jasmine Lopez. Hello, good night everyone. My name is Carmen Jasmine, but I prefer Jasmine because it's more very important Carmen, in my opinion. Also, I love pets. I think that all pets are as for family too. I have one dog. He's very little, he's so funny. And I have two cats since they are very baby cats. And also I am working from home and I would like to know more English because I know that this is a good opportunity for have a better job and more opportunities. I know that all of us, we will learn so much from it. Perfect, thank you very much. Welcome to the group. Okay, now we're gonna listen to Wilfredo Guardado. Hi teacher. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Wilfredo. I live in Santa Ana, and I'm an industrial engineer, and I work to um, American Park for Fruit of the Lung El Salvador. And then my, my two favorite hobbies are play soccer and 
mm -hmm. and uh, listen to my child, my middle child, when I play the guitar and singing. And yeah, this is a, a good opportunity to learn a little, a little English that I, I hope to, 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 I hope to be and um, pay attention every, every classes to, to learn and get the, my goal that it is improve my, my vocabulary and my listening because it is, it is so nice, uh, this course to learn more. Perfect. Nice to see you again. With, uh, welcome to the class. Thank you to you. Okay. Now we're going to listen to Osmin Baires. Is we are not listening. Uh, it seems that he's in mute. Excuse me, teacher. Good, no good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, my name is Osmin Baires Lorzano. I live in, in Colon City. I work in here, so uh, I like read the book, in special the Bible, mm -hmm. and I have a radio program in Sunday in ninety-eight point one FM. Uh, I like studying English because it's important for me for. The opportunity in my life is very important. Uh, is is good. Are uh, again here. Start English. Thank you, teacher. Perfect. Welcome to the class again, Osmin. Nice. Yes. Now we're gonna listen to Jose Ernesto Osorio. Hi, good evening. Uh, my name is Jose Ernesto Osorio. Um, to be honest, I'm on my theories, uh, specifically I'm 35 years. And uh, I love watching movies and series with my family. And I love listening to music, everything related to metal and heavy metal, symphonic metal. And, yeah. and I live in El Congo City since I was born. And I've been married uh, since I was 20 years and I have two daughters or two childs and, and about uh, 14 years old and 10 years. And I'm industrial engineering technician. And I work at Balsamar Manufacturing and as a sewing trainer in the industrial engineering department. And, only that. Very it's good. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Oh, it's a pleasure. Welcome to the class. Welcome. Good. Now we're going to listen to Zulma Rosaura. Hi, good evening. My name is Zulma Lopez. I am 25 years old. I'm from of Aguachapan and I live in La Libertad. I have a bachelor degree in financial administrator and I am a business intelligent analyst at Banco Azul. Perfect. Thank you and welcome to the group again. Nice. Now we are going to listen to Nelson Edgardo Sanchez. Good evening, everybody. Hello, my name is Nelson Sanchez. Um, I live in San Salvador uh, because I was born uh, and live. I was born live in San Salvador, and I work in I work in the Huawei in the area of technician maintenance. maintenance. Um, and for a moment, I study uh, English English in Intel form because uh, I think the the is important is important for. Uh, develop in the all area and the in the life. Mm. Uh, I I marry in I I I Christian. Uh, is the only that. Perfect. Thank you to the group again, Nelson. Nice. Okay, now we are going to listen to Lourdes Beatriz. Okay. Good evening. 
Uh, my name is Lourdes. I am 29 years old. I live in Mexicanos. Uh, actually, I work in Manchar del Salvador. Uh, I am commercial assistant. And uh, in my free time, I like uh, watch series in Netflix or movies and listen to music. Very good, perfect. Welcome again to the group, Lourdes. Nice. Now we're going to listen to Flor de Maria Carvajal. Hello, good evening. Good evening. I, my name is Flor Carballo. I live in San Salvador City. I am married. I have two children. I have one dog. Uh, I like go to the beach. I like um, listen to music. Uh, and my favorite hobby is dance. And my favorite food is uh, the pizza. Perfect, thank you. Welcome to the group again. And I guess the last one is going to be Ophelia. Ophelia, could you please introduce yourself? Hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> hey, hey. My name is Ophelia Orellanaus. I live in San Salvador. I... I hobby, I music, um, I born in Santa Tecla, is I, I listen, I music, English, finish teacher. Okay, perfect. Welcome again to the group. Nice. Okay, so we're going to start the class. Nobody's missing, right? I guess everybody did it. Yeah, I guess. Okay, so um, remember something that Rose says. Um, please practice, okay? Sometimes I speak and sometimes I make some questions. Speak, okay? We are here to practice. It doesn't matter if you, uh, if you believe that you are not correct. It's not important. You speak and we're going to continue from there. So that is the most important. This book, this module, it's nice. I mean, it's going to be a little bit different from the one that we were checking from logistics. I loved logistics. For me, it was fantastic. But I know that for some people, it was like, what is that thing, right? In this one, it's going to be a little more open. So it's going to be a good chance for everybody to speak. So let's start then. Here we go. So um, we're going to start with what is e-commerce, okay? So that is the first one. Let's see. Um, so it says e-commerce or electronic commerce. Nelson, could you please read the first bullet, bullet point? Okay. Uh, what is e-commerce? E-commerce electronic commerce. 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 Give me a moment. I can see. Is gather is gathered is a training in good and a service through the electronic medium such such as internet, internet, a mobile or any other computer network. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. So the first one it says it caters to trading in goods and services through the electronic medium, such as internet, mobile, or mobile, you can say mobile or mobile, or any other computer network. First question for everybody, uh -huh. first point. Let's see, what is cutters? Do you know what is cutters? It cutters to trading, cutters, what is cutting? Cutters provide something. Cutters provide something. I'm sorry? Cutters provide something. To provide, to design, to tailor something mm. and provide something, right? That's good. So it caters to trading. Do you remember what is trading? What is to trade? Anybody? Mm. 
the process to sell um, the portions activities in the business in all the business is Mm -hmm. Nice, Ana Salmi. That is exactly what is trading. I mean, it's the act of negotiate to interchange goods, uh, money, things like that. It's to do a business, right? So it says it caters to trading in goods and services through the electronic medium. So it's a business, but it's online. Or it says such as internet, mobile, sometimes it's mobile, right? So you you chat with somebody and you request a good or service or other computer network. So the next question is, what is network? Anybody? Network. Uh -huh. like, like the communication? Yes. It might be to communicate network. It might be. Other, or, uh, uh, world or the or the world or the mundo around the world. Okay, might be. I think it's something related to mm, the work chain. The world change, like change, like changing something. Work chain. Uh, work. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's related with that one. Very good. Anybody else has another idea on what is, look what it says, computer network. A network is a group or the, it's a group of people or some of people uh, intercommunicating. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The relationship for the business. Relate. Oh, yeah. Like a group or read, maybe. Okay, very good. Nice, good ideas. So, yeah, a network is something. It might be people, it might be computers, it might be cell phones that are connected, right? You are connected in some way. So you will be able to speak with the other person, with the other computer. So that is a network. So that is the number one. Number two, uh, let's see. Sell me, could you please help me with the number two? Well, the second bullet point. Yes, teacher. It involves the use of information communication technology and electronic funds transfer in making commerce between B2C, C2B, B2B, or C2C, G2C, G2B, C2G, B2G, and G2G. Very good. So, yeah, it says that involves the use of information. So here, the most powerful thing is that information and communication. So we use different kinds of technology and electronic funds transfer. So that is the transaction that is online, right? You don't, I mean, you just enter your credit card or you just enter your PayPal information and you do the, the transaction, the money transaction, right? In making commerce between, okay, all those letters, we're going to check into that one. What is B2C, C2B, B2B, or any of the others? We are going to check that in the course. What is that? Don't worry. We are going to check into that one, okay? So that is part of the e-commerce. Uh, Susana, could you please read the third bullet point? Okay, teacher. With the growing use of the internet worldwide, electronic data interchange has also increased. 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 Very good. So exactly. I mean, now that we have internet worldwide, uh, well, everybody's connected, right? I believe that everybody has a cell phone, right? And internet connection slow, fast, it doesn't matter, but we are connected and we are able to purchase. I mean, 10 years ago, maybe we were like, oh, I don't want to purchase this online. Maybe it's a fraud, maybe it's not good. Many things might be happening. But nowadays, 
and more with the pandemic, this is something that is happening in a normal way, right? We see something online, we click and purchase, and that is it. Also with services, it's easier, right? You can research about what you're looking to do. And there are companies that will be there for you, for, for you to offer that, that service. So has increased and it's increasing every day, I guess. Good. The last one, the last bullet point is going to be for Jose Ernesto. Please read the last one. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, uh, E-commerce is now now as virtual internet bazaar inside the digital world, which is ready determined as emails, emails. Very good. So this is like a new terminology, right? E-commerce. In the past, we were saying e-commerce, but some people, they know it as virtual internet bazaar. It's another name. Or... Um, E malls. So, for example, if you go to eBay, if you go to Amazon, there are a lot of products. It's like when you go to a store, right? That you see this and you this see this other thing. Sometimes it's even when you don't want to buy, you go and research for something just in case you find something interesting. So that is it. That will be it. Very good. Um, do you have any questions on this first slide? No questions, clear as horchata. Very good, so, but what is, well, this is the first one and we're going to check the other ones tomorrow, but B to C, uh, let's see, let me just check. Sandra Romero, could you please read this part? Of course, what is B to C e-commerce? B to C or business to consumer? It's a term used to describe a commerce transaction between a business and an end consumer. The baby is speaking in English as well. Nice. <laughs> yes, she's going to learn too. <laughs> Perfect. That is fine. <laughs> okay, so yes, this is B2C. So B2C is business to consumer. That is the meaning. So it's like the normal way. So it, there is a business and you are looking for something to purchase for a product. So the business sells directly to the consumer. And here it says it's a term used to describe a commerce transaction between a business and an end consumer. End consumer is very important here. Do you understand what is an end consumer? What is that? The last client. Exactly. It's the one that is going to wear the clothes, or eat the food, or is the final part of the chain, right? So that is that the end consumer. Uh, we are not going to go more in deep into that one, but we're going to check some other things. So activities of e-business. Let's see, Walter Araujo, could you please read uh, the first bullet point? Okay, teacher. But why did we use good as service online? As soon as a Procurement and primarily to run a website. Websites. Very good. Perfect. So activities that we do in e-business is trading of goods or services online. Online is the key here, right? Such as e-procurement, primarily through websites. So that will be it. The second one is going to be for Ricardo. Could you please read the second one? Okay, electronics relative thing. Okay, so the electronic retailing, a hard question for everybody that were with me the last module. Retailing, what is retailer? What is that? It's a innovation in system electronic. Actually, no. Retailing, uh, do you remember that we were talking last module about logistics and wholesaler and retailers? So okay. what is a retailer? Do you remember? Yeah. 
like uh, in the meaning in Spanish is uh, vendedor minorista. Okay, but in English it's something like, yeah, you are going to be able to sell. Uh, you in purchase detail, teacher. in detail. So you have you purchase a lot in a small quantities. And you sell in, sell. Small, in a small right. quantities. Okay, so in electronic commerce, that is called e-tailing. So it's not retailing, that is e-tailing. That is the name for that one. Very nice. Okay, the next one is going to be for Jasmine, please. Use of the internet, internet or external to conduct research and manage business activities. Very good. So this is like the use of the internet, internets or extranets to conduct research and manage business activities. This is very interesting, actually. So we have internet. We know what is internet, right? But what is an intranet? Do you know what an intranet is? The web inside the company. Very good. It's a network inside of the company. So it's not possible for you to to send information outside. It's only inside of the company. Large companies, they have intranets. And uh, uh, for example, banks, they have a, a way for they to chat, to send information, reports, emails. So those are intranet, only for people inside of the company, right? But what is extranet? The opposite, right? So what is extranet? What do you understand on that? A website outside of the company. Only outside, right? It's not inside, but outside. Very good. So we have internet. Internet is international. Anybody in the world. Internet inside of the company. Extranet only outside of the company. And But it says to conduct research. Do you remember what is to research? What is that? A system of security. Mm, it's not a system of security. Yeah. What is research? Research. Huh? Ah, when, oh, yeah. And it's an investigation. investigation. Very good. So you research, you investigate. In this case, you investigate. It says conduct research and manage business activities. So conduct research is what do you like to buy? What do you want to buy? What kind of cell phone do you prefer? What is more important for you? The camera, the RAM memory, the ROM memory. So they research about this so they can sell products to people. Good, Osmin, could you please read the next one? Right, website marketing. Website marketing, what is that? What do you understand on website marketing? Similar platform. Okay, this is through a, plas a platform. Very good. Anybody else? It's like to. Uh huh. It's a sign the Amazon. That is a good website. Yeah, website marketing. Sometimes. Uh, what happens? It's, a, it's, it's like a web page. Uh, definitely. It's like a web page where you will be able to find advertisements, right? They say to you, this is a good product for you, so you can you can sell it or you can purchase it, things like that. Okay, the other one, it says online communications, such as email. Of course, that is something that is very, very common, right? The next one is for Ada Patricia, the last one. Online training for staff e-learning. Very good. So sometimes another thing that can be happening is online training for staff, for people within the company. And that is, the name for that one is e-learning. For example, what we are doing right now is e-learning because you are at home and I'm at home but we are learning, right? So as you can see in this last example, 
is not only products, services like trainings, education, things like that also are offered through the websites, online, through e-commerce or e-business. We're going to check the difference between those later on, but it's not the same e-commerce than e-business. Good. Now we are going to, well, actually we're going to do a little pause because it's almost nine and we are going to check the attendance. Oh, we didn't do it the first time, right? So we're going to do it only two times today. Let's see how it goes. Uh, attendance. Okay, Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Present. Good, for you is the 101 today. Yes, teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present, teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdamez. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present, teacher. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present, teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present, teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Here, teacher. Good night. Good, good evening. night. Okay, good evening. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Good. Eh, Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramirez. I'm here. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramirez. Present, teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Y atrás de la manera de controlarse, me aconsejaba. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Me valieron muchísimo. Good. Me, me sirvieron de gran... Ricardo Alexis gran, Fuentes este, Rodríguez. Me siente, me entiendo. Para lo que uno vive en esos momentos, porque en verdad es duro superar... Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. La infidelidad cuando tú sabes... Que no. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Yo trabajo que salgo a las 4 de la mañana y regreso 7 de la noche. Depende cómo está el tránsito. Present teacher. Present. Una Sorry. Las, Ana Michelle la, Guevara no, no, Sánchez. Nada, me llamo. Iba por aquí de Irba. Cerca de Irba. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present teacher. Good. Okay, my friends. So we are going to continue with the class today. It's gonna be the day when I can talk back to you. Okay, ways to improve in comments. We're not gonna check that first. We're gonna check, uh, this is very important. So advantages and disadvantages of e-commerce. We're going to read about this one, okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, Guadalupe, could you please read the first paragraph? Advantages and disadvantages. Okay. Advantage and disadvantage of e-commerce. There are no doubt that the ability to sell only has made a number of business uh, profitably profitable. Uh, profitable and viable. Viable. Just like, just like all the other business models, e-commerce also has its pros and cons. It is essential to get proper handle on the pros and cons so individual can be in informed when making their strategic decision. Very good, perfect. So yes, it says here, advantages and disadvantages of e-commerce. There is no doubt that the ability to sell online has made a number of businesses profitable and viable. Profitable, what is that one? Do you remember? Profitable. 
Anybody remembers what is profitable? Get a good results, gains. Very good. It's when a business is going well and you have a lot of money, right? You gain a lot of money. And viable, that is like in Spanish, right? Viable. It says just like all uh, the other business models, e-commerce also has its pros and cons. What is pros? Anybody knows what is pros? Like benefits, the good Very things good. that the, the business has. Perfect, yes. that is it. And Positive. cons is mm -hmm. the opposite, right? Cons is something that is, is not good, it's, it's a disadvantage. And it says it's essential to get a proper handle of the pros and cons so individuals can be informed when making their strategic decisions. Students can also find more advantages. Okay, we're not gonna read that. So, advantages and disadvantages of e-commerce. Okay, let's see. Uh, Wendy, could you please read this paragraph? Okay. Uh, even no, no, no days. No, no days. days. No days. No days. No days. Sometimes after the so-called internet revolution, e-commerce remaining a relative new, new emerge, and constantly evolving business management and information technology area. Kelkini Lyman's terms, e-commerce discuss about the whole process of make marketing, selling, delivering, or delivering orders and serving customers over the internet. Due the global outbreak, of the coronavirus, people have been forced to stay indoors, which, are, which has given the significant buzz to e-commerce. It has revolution, revolution, revolutionized, uh -huh. revolutionized the way many companies work. Perfect, very good. So yeah, nowadays, that is the first word. What is nowadays? Anybody remembers? Nowadays is like actually. Yeah, in these days. In these days. In the actual days, right? Very good. Nice. So now, uh, the other word, what well, it says, even nowadays, sometime after the so-called internet revolution, e-commerce remains. Do you remember what is remains? Remains. Similar? Similar, yeah. It's like to continue something, right? For example, you remain learning English. So you keep on learning English. That is it. It's very important with a new vocabulary to remember, also to try to use it. So you remember two words and try to use it when I ask you a question and you say, I remain, whatever. In, instead of saying, I keep, you can say remain. So these kind of activities are good for you to try to use new vocabulary. So it says e-commerce remains a relatively new emerging and constantly evolving business management. Evolving, what is evolving? Like cover? Relation like, business? No relation, but evolving is like evolution. Mm -hmm. ah, evolution. Something that goes, something that improves. Right, so evolving business management and information technology area. Uh, talking in layman terms, e-commerce discussions about the whole process of marketing. Whole, do you remember what is whole? The whole world, the whole class, whole. An entire class. Entire. Entire, very and good. It. Everything, right? If I say the whole class, stand up. Everybody stand up, right? Whole, everybody, everything. So the whole process of marketing, selling, delivering orders and servicing customers over the internet. Due to, what is due to? Do you remember this? Due to. Due 
You too is like because. Because, uh -huh. it's to provide a reason. Because of the global outbreak or due to the global outbreak. Remember that when we use due, we're going to use to, due to. The two words are together, okay? Global outbreak, what is outbreak? Outbreak. I don't know how I can explain, but for example, Ukraine and Russia had an outbreak of a war, of a war, sorry. <laughs> Very good. So it's, it's something that appears- it's something, uh -huh. yeah. It's something explode. I don't. I don't know. Explode. No, but uh, yeah. That's <laughs> good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Outbreak is something that suddenly happens. Outbreak is when you are not expecting, and something good or bad happens. Right. So that is it. So it says, due to the global outbreak of the coronavirus, people have been forced to stay indoors. What is indoors? indoors confined like confined <laughs> yeah inside of your house right inside in a place into a place you are not able to go outside so that is indoors uh, and it says which has given a significant boost to e-commerce do you remember what is boost boost is the same increment Increment, very good, to increase something, very good, to charge, yes. it's, it's very powerful or anything like that. Boost to e-commerce, it yes. has revolutionized the way yes. many companies work. Good, I believe this is a little introduction. And then it, it says- Teacher, teacher, yeah. I have a question. What is a layman? Layman's. A layman, layman's. Uh, yeah, this is like, how can I explain you that one? It says talking in layman's terms. It's like in terms of um, uh, formal way, something like that. Example, just, if for example, the contract. Well, no. it could be something related to a contract or something that is like a very formal way. It's just like that. Oh, yeah. Good. Thank nice. Uh, and it says advantages. So first we're going to check the advantages of e-commerce. And it says there are a number of prominent and non so obvious advantages for doing business on an online platform. Understanding exactly how e-commerce works can help individuals leverage them to their and their business advantage. Let's check some words. Obvious advantages, online platform. Uh, this one, I like this one, leverage. Do you remember what is leverage? to leverage. Okay, it's, lever a finan it's a financial term. Okay. When you, how can I explain? I, I have the idea, but um, when you use something to obtain the maximum advantage. Very good. So leverage is like when you try to impulse something so is optimized right something is going to be in a very good way and uh, that is the only one let's continue and let's see sulma could you please read number one yes a, a large market e-commerce allowed individuals to reach customers all across the country and around the world e-commerce give business owner the platform to reach people from the comfort of their homes. A customer can make any purchase anytime and anywhere. And significantly more individuals are getting used to shopping on their mobile device. What do you understand on this one, Solma? Mm -hmm. I think uh, e-commerce can help you go to many customer in many place in many countries and you can sell more product. 
Very good, perfect. Actually, that is it. That's why it says a larger market. Because if you open a physical store in the city, uh, maybe I don't know where to see it. I have to go to the place and things like that. But online, I mean, you can sell to people in Santa Ana, in San Salvador, in other countries. So it's going to, you're going to reach a larger market, definitely. So it's a big advantage. Let's read and check some words. E-commerce allows. What is allows? Permit, teacher. To permit. To, yeah to let you do something. So e-commerce allows individuals to reach customers all across the country. All across the country. Remember that that is like in all the country, right? And all around the world. So look at the prepositions. When you are talking about the countries across the country, and when you're talking about the world, is around the world. So you are not going to use the same words. And then it says e-commerce gives business owners the platform. What is an owner? Do you remember what is an owner? Boss? Uh, yes, like the boss is like the person that- Shareholder. Shareholder, very good. That is it, it's that. The one who pays for everything, right? And is it gets the profits. So owners are the platform to reach people from the comfort of their homes, definitely. The customers can make any purchase anytime and anywhere. That is a big advantage. And significantly more individuals are getting used to shopping on their mobile devices. That is so true. Adriana, could you please read number two? Number two, customer insights via tracking and analysis. Whether the business are say setting the visitors to their e-commerce website via PPC or CSEO ads or a good old postcard. There is a way of tracking uh, the traffic and the customer entire user journey for getting insights into the key, keyword marketing me message user experience, pricing, strategy, and many more. And many more. Good, what do you understand on this one? Mm. In your own words. I don't your understand, <laughs> Okay, very good, I wanna help you. It says customer uh, insights via tracking and analytics. So that means that you, in your business, you will be able to track and analyze what people are, are clicking on. I mean, you might have a thousand products, but one product is the most popular. And you can check what time people are clicking more in your website. So all those analyses are important for you to improve the way that you are going to make business, definitely. So it says whether the businesses are sending the visitor to their e-commerce website via PPC, SEO, ads, or a good old postcard, there is a way of tracking the traffic and the consumer's entire use, user journey. Do you remember what is the journey? A anyway, travel? Travel, very well. So it's the travel for you to look for the right product, right? For getting the insights, insight is like the information about that one, into the keywords. What is a keyword, anybody? Important words for remember something important. Very good. So keywords are like words that you will be, it's going to help you identify something, right? marketing messages, user experience, pricing strategy, and many more. So definitely it's very easy to track information in a website, for example. Okay, number three, Pamela. Fast response to the customer, customer trends and the market demands, especially for the business people who do dropship the logistic when extremely 
allow these businesses to respond to the market and the trends of e-commerce and demands of the customer in a lively manner. Business, business people can also create deals and promotion on the fly for attracting customers and generate more sales. Very good. What do you understand on this one, Pamela? Well, we know that all the markets, uh, every single day change. So I understand that maybe the trends in the market, marketing is, uh, can be also uh, generating more uh, demand of a product or if someone is something is in a in a trend right now, maybe the pro well this product can be a, a good a good time to um to exp a, a good time to uh, to where uh, to see what can also what can also uh we can. Well, why we what? Well, uh, why we can uh, sell this product more? Very good, perfect. So excellent. That is it. I mean, um, online you will be able to identify consumer trends and market the bands, and you will be able to respond to 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 say, okay, we are going to change this right now, or we are going to offer this product this way. So you are going to get to more customers. And it says, especially for the business people who do drop ship, the logistics when streamlined, allow these businesses to respond to the market and the trends of e-commerce and demands on the consumers in a lively manner. What is a lively manner? What do you understand on that? In a lively manner. Maybe a way to live. Okay, a way to live is exactly only lively. And uh, this is like in a very, uh, how can I say, specialized way, because people are looking for specific things and you will be able to offer those specific things. And then it says business people can also create deals. What is a deal? Like a treat like a treat very good like an offer if very you good. like it come you do the the my god the business that is it so you look something that is very attractive for you. i agree okay and you yeah. agree nice yeah. nice so it says uh, create deals and promotions on the fly what do you understand on this one on the fly this is very common actually in english on the fly quickly quickly, very fast, in the very moment, right? Before the customer says, no, I'm going to go to other- Flying. <laughs> yeah, flying. Flying. Right. Okay. For attracting customers to generate more sales. Very good. Uh, number four is for Flor de Maria. Hello, Flor. Not here. Okay. So Ophelia, number four, please. Hello, Ophelia. Hello, teacher. Can I go to the microphone? Okay, don't worry. <laughs> Before, but teacher. Yes, please. I'm more opportunity for seat. You see, num I, number four, please. Number four. I see four. I I love it because I wish I did a dance man of the commerce and part of is I just become very, very formable and reality. I two heads up and roots. <laughs> And in common, who sees, I wish I love a lover over there 
Bucinis I people. I know I I long her. I need I do espis I bis burger on TV. A days or bre bre boarding car. I know I think I bus personal in rel restaurant. A person. Good. What do you understand on this one? I think I think I I I, I live in a, a coffee. Uh, people okay so yes this is going to be like uh, yeah actually this is a very obvious advantage lower cost i mean if you have a store online you are not going to pay for the building for air conditioning for people that is there attending you so it's going to be it's going to be cheaper definitely so let's read and check with the advancement of the e-commerce platform, it has become very affordable. What is affordable? Anybody? Um, I, I need, I need to see any people. Um, ITV. Um, I, I, uh, I, I see who's in, in commerce, I be seen is. Well, um, actually, uh, affordable is more related, not with the business, but with the money. Uh, affordable. Maybe it's easy to access and you don't pay so much. Yes, because it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. Very good. So something accessible. affordable. Yeah, that's very nice. Accessible. Accessible so to pay. A lot of people have access to pay that for that product. So, um, for example, for example, computers in the 70s, they were very expensive. Nobody could buy a, my, a computer. My first computer cost me in Colones. Uh, and oh my god, 10,000? Imagine. Yeah, 2,000. 10,000 colonies. <laughs> that was a lot of money. Very expensive, right? If we are talking about dollars, it are around 1,000. Yeah, 1,000 and more of dollars. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, something affordable is something that is, is something that you can pay. It's maybe a little bit expensive, but it's something that you can pay for. So that is affordable. And it says, and easy to set up and run an e-commerce business with a lower overhead. A lower lower head is like, a, you don't need a lot of things. You, know, you don't need to think a lot. So ideas are like to put something that is, uh, that people is going to be able to identify with colors and things that way. Business people no longer need to spend a big budget. Do you remember what is a budget? What is a budget? An amount of inventory. You have financial costs. Okay, very good. The financial cost, an amount of money that you assign to something, right? It could be something about physical things as well. So a big budget on TV ads or billboards. Do you know what is a billboard? Is it top? Is it top picture or something? Mm. When, when you are in, in a high ranking, I don't know. Well, actually a billboard, you know, is a physical thing. A billboard is, for example, when you are in the highway, for example, when you go, uh, from San Salvador to other city, to Santana, for example, you see advertisements there on the street, huge advertisement with colors, people, and some words. So those are billboards. I don't know if it's that clear. So it's an advertisement, physical, 
huge, very big, in front of you, on the city, on the streets, things like that. For so typical that, marketing? It's for marketing, yeah. definitely. So billboard, that is it. And then it says, no think about personal and real estate. Okay, well done, uh, expenses. That is not that complicated. Number five, lower this. Okay, number five, more opportunities for selling. Business people can only offer a limited amount of information about a product in a physical store. Besides that, e-commerce websites give them the space to include more information like reviews, demos, videos, demo videos and customer testimonials for helping increase conversion. Okay, uh, what do you understand on this one? Um, it, now the a lot of website with e-commerce uh, give a opportunity to to uh, a lot of uh, companies to promote uh, in in her in its website or uh, in videos or other publicity that the companies um, can use in the website and for example when I visit uh, uh, the page of um, a doc, for example, uh, usually I, I encontrar. Find. Um, I find, uh -huh, I find a lot of ads for other companies. And it's a, a very, uh, big opportunity to the actually the enterprise. Very good, that is so true. So yeah, when you go to a website, you will see a lot of information from other companies or from the same company. We're gonna check some things here. It says business, uh, business people can only offer a limited amount of information. What is amount? Do you remember? Total, I like total. <laughs> Okay, like a total, like a quantity, quantity, right? So amount of information about a product in a physical store. Besides that, e-commerce websites gives them the space to include more information like reviews. What is a review? Do you know? It's like an opinion from a customer. Very good. That is exactly a customer in the website of a company. They can they can put a, a review, right? Uh, it's very good because of this, or I didn't like this. So you, when you want to buy at that product, you will be able to to listen to consumers, to customers, real customers, and their opinions. So that is very good. Demo videos, you know what is that? And customer testimonials for helping increase conversion. Very good. Okay, number six. Is going to be for, let's see. Um, who hasn't read? Let's see, Michelle. Okay, uh, number six. Yes, please. Okay, personalized messaging. E-commerce platform give people in business the opportunity to provide personalized content and product recommendation for registering customers. This target uh, communication can help in increasing conver conversion by showing the most relevant content to the visitor. Good, what did you understand on this? Mm, I understand that uh, e-commerce platform give us the opportunity to provide um, personalized content uh, to the customer 
and this make it possible the customer to be show a relevant product? Very good, that is it. I mean, uh, whenever you go to a platform like this one, you will be able to, to personalize the product. There are many things that you will be able to customize. So that is very, very interesting when you do that one. In a real store, sometimes it's not possible. So e-commerce platform give people in business the opportunity to provide personalized content and product recommendation for registering customers. This targeted communication. Okay, target. Do you remember what is target? It's like an uh, objective. Perfect. It's like the object, the people that is the object from a product, right? These targeted communications can help in increasing conversion by showing the most relevant content to the visitor. So I guess this is very clear. Number seven, uh, Wilfredo. Let me see, teacher, increase sales along with instant graphication. Uh, for business selling digital goods, e-commerce allow them to deliver product and with the second of placing an order. This satisfies the needs on the customer for instance gratification and assist increase sales, especially for the low cost ejects that are often knows and impulsed by. Good. What do you understand on this? Uh, let me see. Uh, for example, when a company, um, they are fighting to increase, for example, the selling, they have to use all um, many tools to, to um, satisfy the needs about the customer. And this, this, um, this tool, I guess, that is a good tool to, to use it in many companies. Very good, perfect. So that was nice. Increase sales along with instant gratification. So uh, everybody, we are, we are happy when something is nice or when somebody comes and tells us, oh, you did a very good purchase. This was very nice, right? So for businesses selling digital goods, e-commerce allows them to deliver products within seconds of placing an order. So that is something that you, I mean, I like this one and I need it now. Digital content, for example, if you purchase a video game, you will be able to download it immediately and play it within minutes. So that is something that is very nice, right? And it says, um, this satisfies the needs of the consumers for instant gratification and assist increases sales, especially for the low cost objects that are often known as impulse buys. Ah, this is a very interesting thing, impulse buys. Do you know what is that? Impulse buys. It is like a comprador intensivo teacher. Something like that, something that, I mean, teacher. like, yeah, it's- I, I, I guess too that, and when the pandemic starts, I get uh, this 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 way to to make, uh, for example, the cell and uh, online. Did it, um, I guess when the pandemic starts, increase all. Uh, for for example, many companies increase their sales because many people can go over there buying some places. That is then, true. I guess I guess that this 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 way is a good tool to, to get some product. That is true. I mean, you will. It's like when you go to to Dollar City, right? Uh, to buy one thing, but you buy ten things. I mean, it's like, oh, this is good and this is good, and so sometimes that happens online. You go to a website looking for one thing, but then you see those nice shoes or those noise uh, shirts and you buy them. You say, oh, this is very cheap, I'm gonna buy them. So this is an impulse buy. When you- Sorry to say, you don't need it, but you want it. Yeah, that is it. So I have five more dollars to say, I'm gonna buy it. So that happens in this situation. Good. Number eight is going to be four rows. 
Okay. Ability to scale up or down quickly, also unlimited shelf space. The growth of any online business is not only limited by the ability of a space, even though logistics might become an issue as one's business grows, it's less of a challenge compared to running any brick and mortar, mortar store. E-commerce business owners can choose to scale up or down their operation quickly by taking advantage of the non-ending shelf space as a response to the market trends and demands of consumers. Good. What do you understand on this one? Oh my gosh. I was looking when, when we are talking about shelf spaces, um, we are talking about the, the amount of a total space available in a store. Um, No, oh, maybe it's not. Maybe you don't. Have, you don't. It's not necessary to have an space. I understand. It's not necessary that you have that you need to have an space, uh, for have uh, the merchandise. And uh, can you, that's he say owner can choose to scale up, or their operation quickly. No, I understand that. that. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that is it. Very good. So yeah. it means that uh, in an online store, you don't need physical space. You put the pictures and that's it. Yes, you need physical space, maybe in a wholesaler that you have, like Amazon. Do you remember? Um, yeah. But it's going to be like you will be able to, to manage that space. I mean, you will, if you need more, you rent more. If you need less, you have less space. I need to have order, but I don't need to have uh, some shelves in my house or Excellent. in the place that I'm, I'm doing e-commerce. Very good. That is exactly, I mean, this is a big advantage. So you can see there are many advantages on this one, uh, but also there are some disadvantages of e-commerce. It says, Running a business that is e-commerce is not always rainbows and unicorns. There are unique challenges to this business model. Learning about them will help business people navigate the choppy waters and avoid common pitfalls. Okay, so let's check number one. Gloria, could you please read the number one? Less a person touch some customer some customer appreciate the personal touch the other of the of when you visit it. I guess there are some problems with the internet connection. Disculpe, se me pierde la, la, la lectura. No, no problem. Start by in, interacting uh, with the cells as you search, search person, personal touch in especially essential for business that sell high end as Customer will want to buy the product and have an excellent experience during the process. Good. What do you understand on this one, Gloria? I'm sorry, I know understand. Okay, very good. So the first question here is: do you remember lack? Lack of personal touch, lack. Ah, you don't remember. What is lack? Like? 
Is is like a bit. A little bit or no, not at all, right? Remember the lack is when you don't have something. Oh yes. Uh -huh. So in this case, it's lack of personal touch. So there is no personal touch. So some customers, they prefer to be with a real person, speaking with a real person, asking questions, you know? Uh, they, they're not happy about clicking in a website. So that happens, that happens sometimes. It says some customers appreciate the personal touch they offer when visiting a physical store by interacting with the sales associates. So the interaction for some people is very important. Such personal touch is especially essential for businesses that sell high-end products as customers will want to buy the products and have an excellent experience during the process. So yeah, that is it. I don't believe that there is a good, uh, a new one. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, number two is going to be for, let's see. Who hasn't read? Okay, number two is going to be for Jose Ernesto. Number two, teacher. Yes, please. Lack of tactile experience, no matter how good a video is made, Customers still can feel and touch a product. Not to mention, it's never an easy task to deliver a brand experience that could often be including the sense of touch, taste, smell, and sound via the two dimensionality of any screen. Perfect. What do you understand on this one? I understand uh, no matter uh, if you don't touch uh, any product, but uh, the experience is, uh, excuse me, teacher, I lose the train of my ideas. Okay, don't worry. And uh, you only have uh, some things that you, uh, make a decision to buy a product. Okay, very good. So lack of tactile experience. I mean, you see very nice the pictures there, right? Uh, but it's not the same as watching, touching the product, see the size, uh, the texture, the smell is not the same. So even when you see a very good product there, it's, it's never the same. I mean, you're thinking uh, maybe it's not going to be like this. Maybe it's going to be different. Maybe it's going to be too big. Maybe it's not good for me. So uh, let's check some vocabulary in this one. It says, no matter how good a video is, many customers still can't feel and touch a product. Not to make Inclusive, I'm sorry, teacher. Inclusive, the fit, the cloth is... Um... It's very important because the size is um, maybe can be different <laughs> depending on the brand. That is true. And you know, sometimes what happens is that you you look something very nice and when you receive it, it's not like sometimes the picture. you disappoint. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, this is... Yeah, it could happen. It happened to me. <laughs> it happened to me as well. I yeah. Mean, Oh my goodness, those Chinese people, they lied to me. That's not good. <laughs> so it says, not to mention, it's never an easy task to deliver. Uh, is that one? Yes. A brand experience that could often be including the sense of touch, taste, smell, and sound via the two dimensionality of any screen. Yeah, it's not going to be the same. Definitely. Sometimes it's good, but sometimes it's, as Rose said, disappointing. Number three is going to be for Pamela. Product and price comparison. With online shopping, customer can compare several products and find the least price. This forces many business to compare it on price and reduce their profit mar margin, reducing the quality of products. That is so true and it's very sad. I mean, I'm a 
I have seen with a lot of products that the quality is not the same as before. And that happens with all the products, with cars, with perfumes, with cell phones, computers. They have more things, but the quality sometimes is not good. I mean, even with clothes, I mean, if you purchase something that is from Adidas, it's not the same that it was years ago. It's not good. And, and it's because of this. This is the chaos. Because, I mean, the competition about pricing is very, very hard. And some companies, they prefer to decrease the quality, to lower the cost, to, to compete with the pricing here. So that is a big disadvantage. But that happens not only online. That happens only also with physical stores. So it says with online shopping, customers can compare several products and find the least price. This forces many businesses to compete on price and reduce their profit margin, reducing the quality of products. So this is very clear. Yeah, because of they want to get more people to purchase their product. Something is missing there. Perfect. Thank you, Pamela. Okay, the next one is going to be for Guadalupe, number four. Need, need for access to the internet. This is obvious, but don't forget the customer do need access for the internet before portions from any business. As many e-commerce platforms have the and the features features and functionality which re require a high expect internet connection for an optional consumer experience there is a chance that companies are include visitor to have slow internet connection very good what do you understand on this one um for this uh, kind of business, the, the people need the uh, internet. And the, for the offer the, the product and, and buy the, the any uh, merchandise. Teacher, your microphone, your microphone is off. Oh, sorry, okay. So that happens, that happens sometimes. Well, for these kind of businesses, definitely you do need internet connection. Sometimes a good internet connection. Sometimes if the website is with a lot of pictures or videos, if you don't have a very good connection, I mean, it's not gonna work, right? Number five, Osmin. Excuse me, teacher. Right. It's okay, teacher. Number five, credit card found. Found. Credit card found are a natural and growing problem for online business. It can it can't lead to many charges, but with result in the loss of Paralysis, the revenue, and about reputation. Yeah. What do you understand on this one? Is the car foul is advantage because it's dangerous business with car foul. That is so true. I mean. This is something that is, is dangerous. I mean, everybody, everybody is afraid to purchase online because you never know, right? You enter all your information, somebody can steal that information and you then might have some problems. Okay, it says credit cards frauds are a natural and growing problem for online businesses. It can lead to many chargebacks. Chargebacks is you pay more than you expected. 
will result in the loss of penalties, um, revenue and bad reputation. So that is true. If you purchase something and somebody stole your, uh, your credit card information, you believe that that company is, is guilty. That company is not good. So that's what you think, definitely. Number six, uh, Sandra Romero. Number six, um, credit card fraud. Credit hey, now, card, um, I'm sorry. I, it, IT security issues. IT security issues. More and more organizations and businesses have fallen prey to malicious hackers who have stolen information of the customers from their databases. This could have financial and legal implications, but it also reduces the company trust. Good. What do you understand on this one? It's something like uh, that you are telling us. It is when someone can take our information in the internet because we have all the information about our payment source. And maybe someone can scam our information or stolen your our information. And if we have this issue, I think we don't want to buy anything again in this company or in this um, in, in these database, maybe that. Perfect, thank you. So yes, that happens. More and more organizations says, and businesses have fallen prey to malicious hackers. So these guys are everywhere, right? Here in El Salvador is sometimes dangerous to purchase online or to go to places and use the credit card, right? Uh, so they steal the information and then uh, we don't trust in the company anymore. So it's a big problem for companies because they want customers to come and be part of it. Okay, good. Number seven, uh, let's see, Susana. Can you move, please, teacher? Number uh, like, seven. Like this? Yes, thank you. All the guys, all the eggs in one basket. E-commerce business really soling? How do you say that? Solely? It says rely solely. Okay. Rely solely or heavily on their website. Even just some minutes of downtime or, or technology glitches could be resulting in a substantial renewal load and customer dissatisfaction. Good. What do you understand on this one? I don't know what is solely. Rely solely. Okay, let's check into that one. It says e-commerce businesses rely. What is rely? Anybody? Reliance when you trust in something or someone. That is it. Rely is when you trust. So Lily is like completely or alone, separate. So e-commerce businesses rely so lightly or heavily on their website. So that is the problem. So the problem is that some minutes of downtime, do you, do you know what is downtime? Maybe when the system of the website is not working well. Perfect, that is it. When you open the website, it says it's not working. So, and it says all technology glitches. Do you know what is a glitch? Okay, a glitch is like a problem. For example, remember in the platform that sometimes we have some problems, right? The, the questions are together or the answer is never correct. That is a glitch in the system. It's a problem. So you are not able to do something that you're supposed to do. So sometimes downtime is like you are not able to see anything in the website. Or a glitch is when you see the website, but there are some mistakes, some problems. So when that happens, uh, that causes problems and you are not able to purchase you don't trust in the company in the in the website so that goes to revenue loss 
So the profit is going to be less. And says customer dissatisfaction. Of course, it's not going to, they're not going to be happy, right? Okay, number eight. This is going to be for, let's see, Anna Selmi. Number eight, teacher. Yes, please. Complexity in regulation, taxation, and compliance. Suppose any online business sells to its consumers in different territories. In, this, in that case, they'll have to stick to the regulation in their own countries or states and their consumer place of residency. This could be creating a lot of complexities in accounting, taxation, and compliance. Is related ahead. to the, the, because e-commerce is in different countries, regions, and the regulation in the specific laws for the commercial are different. And it's important to compliance. Very good, that and is good. Go ahead, go ahead. In the, the business required to knowledge about that because in the taxes, for example, is uh, the the old commercial must be paid taxes. That is true. Mm -hmm. And yes, actually, uh, if you purchase something online, uh, the taxes, for example, are going to be different from California or from many cities or many countries. So that depends on many things. And you, as the business, you need to know that information to know how to do things. Let's check some uh, vocabulary. Suppose any online business sells to its consumers in different ter territories. In that case, they'll have to stick to the regulations. What is stick to? Anybody knows? Stick to. Stick is like when you, when you put, I don't know. It's like a sticker. <laughs> okay, that is like. Yeah, when you, oh my God, how can I explain? <laughs> I have the idea, but I can stick okay. when you, oh my God, no, I, I can't explain, <laughs> but I have the idea. <laughs> it's like on a sticker, you okay. put, and, <laughs> oh no, and when you are, or when you follow, I don't know, no, I can't, I can't. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, it's like, like when there is a rule, allow, and you need to stick to that rule. You need to obey. You need to do the way it should be. So that is it like. Very nice. Uh, let's see. There is no other word in this one, I guess. Taxation. Okay. Very good. So um, it's time already. So we're going to check the attendance. But before we do that one, do you have any questions? For the first class, we started. Good. So questions before we finish. No questions, clear mm -hmm. as on chat. Okay, my friends, so I'm going to check the attendance. Remember that tomorrow the class is going to be at eight. I'm always connected a little bit earlier, five minutes earlier in case you have questions, okay? So, and uh, let's check into that one. Try, remember to do the, uh, the platform if you have access. If you don't have access, try tomorrow in the afternoon. Uh, Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present teacher. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdamez. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present teacher. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Veronica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. 
Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Listen, teacher. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramirez. I'm here. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramirez. Present teacher. Good. Good night. Good night. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present Wilfred... teacher. Good night. Good night. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you today. Have a very good night. Rest very well. Dream in English and see you tomorrow. See you. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night, buddy. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, hello, Ada, Patricia, how are you? Hi, teacher, and you? I'm very well. Welcome again to the class. How are you? How, how was the class today? How do you feel it? Excuse me? How did you feel the class? We got this. Como empecé, algo así. Oh, yeah. How do you feel in the class? Okay. It's good, teacher. Uh, um, esperando eh, eh, empezar con buen pie aunque ya no porque ya le empecé a hablar en español <risa> <Okay>. <risa> pero este estoy estoy con una pequeña duda no sé si me no sé me este me gusta el, el ay perdón pero me gusta, me falta mucho vocabulario, yo lo sé, pero me gusta el hecho de eso, de los videos y todo lo que se está poniendo, pero hay una cosa que yo le quiero preguntar. Ok. Mm, por, eh, para usted, ¿por qué no, no son videos con caption? ¿Ya no es para nuestro nivel? Sí, ya no, ya tendría que ser escucharlo y tratar de entenderlo. El, uh -huh. el objetivo de los videos en este punto es Ver qué le entiendo a la persona, ver cómo habla, ver cómo pronuncia. Entonces, eso es el objetivo. Entonces, sé que hay, hemos visto diferentes tipos de videos, ¿verdad? Hay algunos que son rápidos, hay unos que son lentos, hay unos que no tienen, no hay gente hablando, sino que solo son palabras. Por eso vamos variando, para que vayamos tratando de entender diferentes acentos, diferentes tipos de hablar, diferentes tipos de videos. Entonces, a veces hay algunos que los he dejado con los captions, pero la mayoría van sin captions porque ya es entender y hablar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entendí. Igual, siempre hay palabras que no entendemos, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero la idea es eso. Si yo entiendo la idea general del video y si yo puedo reproducir, ah, yo entendí esto y esto. Y esto. Uh -huh. Sí, me imaginé yo eso. La otra pregunta, creo que algo ilógica, pero yo se la voy a hacer. Okay. Me supongo que cuando usted nos pone a leer este, el, y nos pregunta cuál es nuestra, qué opinamos, ¿verdad? Es más que todo lo que usted desea es la lectura comprensiva. Exacto. O sea, uh -huh. leemos un párrafo, lo mismo, ¿verdad? Siempre vamos a encontrar, y si ustedes se fijan en este tipo de lecturas que son de negocio, siempre hay palabras nuevas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Porque cuando, no es lo mismo que estemos hablando nosotros como amigos que, que estemos hablando de negocios. Entonces, más en la redacción, ellos tratan de poner palabras 
que se vea bonita la redacción, ¿verdad? Aunque se puedan ocupar palabras más sencillas. Entonces, a pesar de eso, lo primero es ver lo del vocabulario, palabras nuevas, cómo se utiliza, qué significa eso. Igual en inglés, ¿verdad? Tratar de, de decir qué es esto, pero en otras palabras en inglés. Y lo otro es, yo leo un párrafo y aunque haya palabras nuevas, pero la idea general de qué va, de, de qué entendí. ¿verdad? Esa es la, la idea de la lectura y además sí, es de eso que... la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Así es que estuve revisando algunos de los videos, entonces este, ahí fue cuando me di cuenta. Como les digo, me está costando, teacher, me está costando de cero cero, teacher. Entonces, no. eh, por eso es que todavía la estoy un poco arrancando porque, pues sí, como le digo, puede ser lo que yo, yo creí que era otro, otra, otra forma de enseñar inglés. Pero a pesar de todo, siento que he adelantado para como empecé, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso le digo que me falta mucho vocabulario, ¿verdad? Pero, este sí, al ver, y, y que le, y que pues sí, me pongo a, a repasar, a estudiar un, un poco, este, veo, lo, veo a, por lo general, veo la clase otra vez, ¿verdad? Al día siguiente, por lo general, no siempre puede, tengo el tiempo, uh -huh. pero eh, sí, en eso me di cuenta hoy en esta vacación que nos dieron. ¿verdad? Sí, la verdad es que, eh, mire, todos estamos a un nivel diferente, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, Entonces, uh -huh. tratamos de hacerlo subir a todos al nivel que, que tendría que. Uh -huh. Entonces, es normal, es normal que de repente tengamos, pero si yo le he visto adelanto, la verdad es que cuando hablamos de repente, yo he visto que habla un poquito más. Quizás una de las cosas que yo les recomiendo es que no tenga miedo, usted lance. Yo entendí esto y esto y esto, y si no fue eso, yo le digo, mire, yo creo que no, que va por aquí el asunto, pero uh -huh. ya habló. Ya con, con hablar y dar su opinión en inglés, ya es un adelanto, ¿verdad? Eso es, es nice. No, créame, Tisha, que sí, porque como le digo y le repito, de verdad que yo nada que ver. Era un, ¿cómo le puedo decir yo? Una negación de la negación sobre el inglés. Y no, y cuando de repente se me dio la oportunidad de estar en este programa, bueno, dije yo, nunca es tarde para aprender, para no creí que fuera... ¿eh? Pero hasta me he dado cuenta yo de que sí, he hecho un adelanto, ¿verdad? De, de esta situación, como le digo, de cero, cero. Entonces, este, sí me falta un montón para poder ponerme casi, casi, quizás no al nivel que está, está casi la mayoría, ¿verdad? En este grupo ahorita, pero por lo menos ya, por lo menos a usted ya le estoy entendiendo cuál es la, el mensaje que nos quiere dar, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que espera usted de nosotros? Sí, claro. Eh, sí, y igual este módulo vamos a cambiar un par de cosas. Siempre todos los módulos como vamos avanzando. Si usted se fija, yo antes leía un poco más despacio, ahora leo un poco más rápido. Uh -huh. Porque vamos en otro nivel, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. igual no va a ser siempre así. Eh, una de las cosas que yo trato de hacer es volver a leer. Yo vuelvo a leer para que vean cómo es la pronunciación. Y en los párrafos, una palabra que usted diga, es este interesante, la quiero empezar a utilizar. Usted le escribe y de repente le empieza a meter, ¿verdad? En, en palabras, en, en, de manera normal. Eso uh -huh. es, es algo que puede empezar a hacer para empezar a tener más vocabulario en su, sí, sí. En su speech. Así okay. es que yo le agradezco mucho su tiempito, ¿verdad? Okay. Y pues, este, voy a seguir adelante, a ver cómo me va al final de la, <ríe> del mundo. Le va a ir bien, ahí va a ver que sí. Sí, muchas gracias, teacher. Perfecto. Cuídense mucho. Perfecto. Good night, see you tomorrow. Gracias. Igual.